So let's go ahead, turn our features back on, and let's go select all, close, and we'll see what's going on here. It looks like, what do we have here? E drain ditch bottom. And it looks like there might be a bad point along this chainage right here for the ditch bottom. So let's go to surface, feature, feature properties. And let's go to, actually let me close this out for a second. And let me hover over that again. And which one is that? DBS 120. Surface, feature, feature properties. And let's go down to our 120. And I'll highlight that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and select list points. And here we can check out the points and their properties, their uh, northing and eastings and elevations. And you see we're pretty much like at 245, 246. And there's point number 13 that says 446. And the rest of them are like 246. So it looks like that one was just entered wrong. So we're going to have to correct that. So I'll go ahead and close. And let me close that out. And let me go to Surface. Edit Surface. I'm going to go to Edit Feature Point. And there's a couple different ways I can select this. I can uh, just use my Target Selector button and graphically select this feature. And I'll accept it with a left click. And you see point number one is 61. Our elevation is 245. We'll step through a few of these points. I uh, look at our elevations, you know, 246, plus or minus. So let's go ahead and jump to point number 13. And it says 446. So we know that that's, in all likelihood, supposed to be 246. So let's change that to 246. Click Apply. Close. Uh, let's go ahead and retriangulate. Let me zoom out. And let me just uh, turn these random points off here. It's a little better. I'll leave the rest of the features on. And let's go ahead and redisplay our contours and see if we can get that little blotch right here to disappear. Click Apply. And that looks better already, doesn't it? Okay, now we still have our road. Let's zoom in here and we can see some obvious errors in our surface, our contours. Looks like they're all converging on whatever this feature here may be. Let's see, maybe an edge of pave or something. Let's see, underground communication cable. Looks like a utility cable and again it looks like it's been triangulated and it probably shouldn't have. Let me hover over that which, uh, let me make note of the name. Now I can't get to it. What was it, the, uh, ah. Well, we know it was the underground cable line. So let's go to Surface, Feature, Feature Properties, and that was the underground communication line. Let me highlight that. And over here you see it's brake line. It probably should have been excluded from triangulation. So we'll do that. Actually, before we do that, let's just do another little exercise here. Let's go to Surface. View Surface. Let's go to Single Point and Surface Elevation. Uh, select your surface. Again, we just have one. And I'll click Apply. And see in the bottom left it says Identify Location. We're just going to get the surface location where we click. We'll click that point right there. And there you see the text. It says 240.61. Right click to get out of that. And let's go back to our Surface, Feature, Properties, and we'll highlight that. Let's look at list points. And you see our elevations are 
this is our underground cable line. Uh, down here they start getting around 240 or so, which is what we measured our surface at. But we know this thing is a few feet underground, so that can't be right. Right? So let's go back and take a look and see how we can correct this. So once again we can just go to surface, feature, feature properties, select our utility, and let's just go ahead and exclude this from triangulation. Click apply, close, zoom out a little bit, I'll right click, go ahead and retriangulate that, and zoom out a little more so we can see our contours update. Let's go to surface, view surface, contours, click apply, and that looks a little better. Uh, you see our road doesn't look as badly as it did before. And let me go to surface, update surface. Uh, let me turn off all my features. Close. Um, let's go ahead and put the wire or the uh, triangles back on. I'll go ahead and select that. It takes a few seconds. I'm going to turn the contours off. Close. And that looks a little better. Um, let's see. You know, something I like to do is go with an isometric view and uh, different views. So let's go ahead. I'll uh, select the um, view rotation tool. And let's just go ahead and select isometric. And my computer is a little slow. And let's go ahead with a smooth display. And you can see our little uh, ponds. And you can see our road with our ditches on either side. Uh, if you want, you can go into update display and we can turn our features on. And you can see your uh, the uh, edge of pave and the uh, there's the ditch bottom. Uh, let me go ahead and turn those back off. Select none. Close. And another little tool just to uh, exaggerate the visualization a little. Go to surface, view surface, options, and we can scale this. Eh, let's scale it, let's say three. That eh, might be quite a bit. I'll click apply. Close. I'll go to surface. We'll probably have to update this. Just click refresh all. And since I have the smooth display on and whatnot, it might take a few seconds. And there it goes. And yeah, the uh, scaling by a factor of three was a bit much. Surface, view surface, options. Uh, let's knock that down to two. And I just like to do this just to exaggerate, exaggerate the, uh, the relief a little bit. Uh, update, refresh, close, give it a couple seconds to process, and, and it's still a little uh, exaggerated. Uh, that's a nice little visualization tool there. Uh, just knock that back down to one. Apply, close, update, refresh, Close, give it a few seconds, processing, and there we're back to normal. Uh, let's go back to our wireframe display, and go to surface, view surface. Let's go ahead and scale this by a couple. Seems to look a, bit, a little better.
with the uh, triangles displayed when you exaggerate the scaling a little. Let's go ahead and refresh. Close that. Give it a couple seconds. Processing. And now you see our perimeter there got exaggerated a bit. Uh, let's go up here to our view rotation. Right isometric, just a different different perspective. It just turns it around. Uh, let's just go back to our top view. And let me oh, let me turn the triangles off. Close. Let's go to surface, view surface, contours. And let's go with an interval of let's say 0.25 I guess this time. They were pretty sparse last time so yeah it gives a little better view and it looks like we've got it cleaned up pretty well uh, our road uh, now looks okay um, our triangles along the exterior are gone our ponds are cleaned up and we excluded our iron pins and yeah, it's just a few of the surface tools in inroads uh, you can clean the surface up make edits some visualizing and whatnot <laughs>